you further down the line. This is Zulu Lima for Alpha India going QRT with Delta Juliet Zero, Mike Delta Quebec and calling QRZ. Papa Echo One, Oscar United Whiskey Stroke Portable. Okay, Papa Echo One, United, didn't get the letter, Whiskey Portable. Go ahead please. Lima 4 Alpha India listening. Yeah, okay, Jeff, uh, ZL4 Alpha India. This is Papa Echo 1 Ontario, a uniform whiskey stroke portable. You're 59 plus. Name is Ramon near Amsterdam. And we spoke a while back about the three legged uh, vertical, which I made and used a couple of times with big success. Over. seen a few of your emails flying backwards and forth. I, as you know, I went to the Philippines. I was there for four months. I took all my radio equipment and I couldn't get motivated. Well, I was more motivated by, motivated by other things than radio. Um, so, you know, good, good, good to hear that everything's worked out for you you well in, in, in getting over that. Well, you already were on to getting over the salt water, which I, I think a lot of people really understand, and I, I don't know why that is, because I know with the informed antenna that I've developed and we've talked about and we've emailed, um, you know, I, I, if I, I get down near, near that salt water, I can get a whacking signal, and with just, you know, 80 or 90 watts. It takes me through, through, through to your part of the world quite easily. Um, I, I think the propagation works well to your part of the world, so that helps. But anyway, nice to talk to you, and, and um, I, I think you've developed something else with your antenna, but I, I just can't remember what it was from the email, so maybe you can tell me now. Back to you from uh, Dunedin, New Zealand, to Lima for Alpha India listening. Yeah, okay, Jeff. Well, uh, I, I think I brought it to the island, which I spoke about, but I, I never used it there. Um, most of the times I was using a simple vertical, <coughs> wired <laughs> vertical, with a 49 to 1 uh, on on. And I mainly use the uh, three legged vertical uh, here near my home QTH. And I was thinking about using it today, but I wasn't really sure about the conditions on, uh, on 20 as far as. Um, um uh, the contest is concerned I, w I i would have sworn that it would be swamped with contesters so i i made it myself uh, easy and used a vertical on the roof of the car a simple whip antenna which i'm using right now but if, uh, apart from that i think i only uh, made um another uh, let's say wire antenna an inverted l which is visible on qsa.com <laughs> but apart from that i don't think i've built anything else but uh, the three-legged vertical uh you're peaking five nine plus ten uh, jeff five nine plus ten here and i could hear you on um, the 30 watts as well also peaking um well five eight five nine almost so there's absolutely no problem to copy uh, zulu lima four alpha india uh, Papa Echo One, Oscar Uniform Whiskey Stroke Portable, over. Yes, no, Roger, Roger, Ramono. Thanks, thanks for the, the double signal report. That's actually helpful because uh, 589 on 30 watts for me is, is, is a pretty good report. So we must have, um, as I said to the last Delta Juliet, we must just have really good propagation right now. Um, you know, I'm normally I'm running 100 watts on this antenna, and um, I'm feeding, sorry, 20 watts. I'm feeding it off 20, and, and I get a 5.7. I'm, I'm happy. So uh, the, the 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 extra yeah. Well, five eight, five nine is uh, a whacking great, great more, more out of only only another eight watts. So um, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's good conditions. That's, that's all I can say. So no, nice to be getting through to you, and um, nice to hear that you developed a, an inverted L as a, as a new new antenna. Um, I, I think the thing I I I, I, gave, I sent you information where I, I did a, a slightly different form of my antenna where I. Um, I, I, I've got a sort of an aluminium pole which I stick up on the back of my four, uh, in the sense of another four-wheel drive, and 
know, and around three wires off off that. Um, I, had, I need to develop that a little bit more, so it's just convenient that uh, I can quickly fold that up when I arrive wherever I am near the salt water, or even not near the salt water, and I can just run out the the, the three wires. And um, I, I found, um, I think I explained this to you in, in what we wrote, um, if I got the ends of the wires, all three of them about one metre off the ground, or one of them buried a little bit as the last, I could, I could get a one-to-one -one, one match on that very easily, which, which is great, because you, you, can, you could run through to it, you could switch through the tuner and just eliminate those tuner losses. Anyway, that's, that's something I want to develop. Uh, because uh, yeah, I think the the, the basic uh, antenna on the roof of the, the vehicle is, is, is a bit flawed because it just doesn't have a good ground system. Anyway, as you're working on that, I'd, I'd be interested in any feedback you have with the passage of time rather than, than now, unless you happen to have, to have some information about it. So back to you, Zulu Lima 4, Alpha India listening. Yeah, okay, Jeff, uh, Zulu Lima 4, Alpha India. Uh, pe one o u w stroke portable yeah i just use a, a magnetic mound that's the only thing i have um for this kind of antenna but i was indeed uh, looking for something more appropriate as far as uh, grounding is concerned we also have a wire to um, connect the the rig to um, to the the ground of the car and maybe even thinking about using a wire to uh, make uh, a solid ground with Mother Nature. <laughs> but I haven't been uh, uh, taking that route yet. I'm looking into that. I uh, read some stuff on, um, on the internet to, uh, to put it into practice. But yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm easy going at the moment. Just uh, go out for a couple of hours and see what we can work. And um, yeah, I'm... I'm well, quite pleased to get into ZL again, and uh, you're a real 5, 9, plus 10. Um, just wondering, Jeff, what is my signal report, just for the record, over? Oh, sorry, uh, that seems rude of me, I should have given that to you. You're, you're a solid 5 and 4, sometimes you're peaking up to a 5 and 5, QSL. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that, you know, considering uh, the simple setup that I'm using at the moment. So, um, yeah, very good to hear the 5455. Five, five. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, out in Mother Nature, about, let's say, 15 kilometers from uh, from Amsterdam to the north of Amsterdam. And uh, I saw the sun coming up. And unfortunately, there's too much clouds at the moment. So um, otherwise, I would have shot uh, some nice pictures of uh, the situation. Okay, uh, Jeff, uh, thanks for the nice contact. Let's see if we can work some more stations before we go home again. Wish you all the very best and hope to catch you soon again. Um, seven threes from near Amsterdam to uh, Dunedin. Uh, Zulu Lima 4, Alpha India, uh, PE1OUW Portable. To you for the final, over. Yeah. Uh, Roger, Roger, Ramon. Um, just uh, one last closing comment. From time to time there, you went to, to peaks of 5.6 and 5.7. Um, so <laughs> you're getting the occasional burst, maybe it's an atmospheric change or something, which is really, really pumping your signal through. Anyway, a pleasure to talk to you today. Again, uh, sir, my fellow Sam, and I look forward to talking to you in the future. Um, I'd be interested in any developments you have. And just suggest that you you try making it three wires, five point meters, five approximately five point one meters long, and attach them to your the base of your magnetic mount, and and drape them out to be a meter above the ground on either end, and see if your signal improves. Anyway, seventy threes from Zulu Lima Four, Alpha India. Now going QRT with Papa Echo One, Oscar, Uniform Whiskey, and calling QRZ.